The second of our drills to learn to uh, perform multiple shots at full extension with reasonable accuracy under reasonable time constraints is called the Higginbotham Controllability Drill. It's named after Jim Higginbotham, who was a longtime law enforcement trainer in the Southeast. And I really like this drill. It, as the name implies, it really tells you whether you can control that particular round in that particular gun, keep a burst of shots or burst of, of, of rounds on a reasonable size target at a reasonable distance in a reasonable amount of time. The, the drill is classically starts from a rather, let me start again. The drill classically starts from a low ready. Uh, and we will do that here. Uh, the low ready, uh, when I do it, it's the gun is pointing right at the bottom of the target stand. That's basically where you would challenge a suspect from. From there, you come up on the beep, five shots, two seconds, onto your target at five yards. Now, the target is nothing more than a regular, ordinary eight and a half by 11 piece of paper folded in half. Uh, and Good target to use. Good. I mean, I mean, that's 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 quite a reasonable size target. That's a, a, a perfectly good uh, combat shooting target. So let's see what it looks like. One seven one. It's taking my time there. If I review, you can see that the splits are first shots at five seven, then three two, two eight, two eight, two eight, two eight. So you know about a third of a second per shot. This is one of my favorite drills. I encourage you to try it. Uh, it it works everything. It has a tight time constraint. It has a burst of shots has a reasonable size target, uh, and the distance is certainly typical of a street encounter. Notice that when I showed you the timer, I was shooting at about the rate of three times a second, at about roughly one, one third a second splits. That's a good rate of fire to have. Certainly, we're capable of shooting faster than that, and we will later on, but I don't advocate that you train a lot in shooting much faster than that. You, I don't think you want to get in the habit of shooting faster than three times a second. And the reason is that every, every time you pull that trigger, you need to assess before you pull that trigger if what's going on in front of your muzzle justifies you pulling the trigger. So you can't see and understand what's happening in front of you, I don't think, any faster than three times a second. I don't think I can. So it, we don't want to get in the habit of shooting faster than we can understand if we should be shooting. So that's another reason I like this drill, is it forces you to shoot at about a third of a second cadence, which is about as fast as we want to uh, shoot, I think, on the street. And um, it's about as fast, it, or it's fast enough that it will return effective fire should we need to.